Hello, Mr. Stapleton. Can you please introduce yourself for the recording? Uh, hi, I'm Wes Stapleton. I'm a former teacher at Lumberton High School. I'm moving over to Lumberton Middle School this upcoming school year, uh, where I'm going to be teaching team leadership in Texas history. I will now begin the questioning. Do you see yourself more as a leader or a follower in a group situation? Uh, typically, I would say I'm more of a follower depending on who I'm around, but I'm pretty careful on who I end up following. Okay. What drove you to become a teacher? Uh, so my drive to become a teacher really comes from uh, you know, inspiration from some of my college professors. Uh, a lot of them imparted the knowledge to me that education is how people better themselves and how uh, society becomes better over time. So uh, I just believe it's really important for uh, children to receive a really quality education as they're growing up so that society itself can better itself over time. What part of teaching do you enjoy the most? Uh, I think the most enjoyable thing about being a teacher is getting to know the students and, uh, you know, just having a good time laughing with them and, you know, not just the teaching part, but, you know, the kids always you know, ask questions about life in general, especially those seniors I had last year and, uh, you know, they always come to me for life advice and it just felt good to be able to impart to them some wisdom uh, for their futures. Do you have any different plans for your life after teaching? Uh, yeah, so uh, here soon in the next year or two, I'll either be getting my master's or going off to law school, uh, hopefully to end up practicing public school law, uh, special education law, uh, or maybe something in business. Uh, there's really multiple things I'm looking at in real estate, so I, I'm a busy person. I like to have my hands in a lot of things at once. Who is your inspiration? Mm. Uh, that's a tough one. Uh, my inspiration mainly would probably come from family. So my great grandfather, uh, who's a World War II hero, he's a great inspiration. Uh, my grandmother, she's a college professor. Uh, she always, you know, she taught me how to write. She taught me how to get my work done on time. Uh, so really, I would say those two are probably my biggest heroes. Where do you see yourself 20 years from now, down the line? 20 years down the line, uh, hopefully I'm a successful lawyer uh, with multiple other degrees, uh, hopefully living in a nice house somewhere in Austin, Texas, have a family, all that stuff. Uh, really the hope is to be super successful at it. Has being a teacher influenced your choices for further on in your life? As you said, being in public school law, does that have an effect on you? Uh, yeah, so seeing the public school system uh, this past year and hopefully from what I'll see some next year, uh, you know, I really just, you know, the public school system needs a lot of work and it needs a lot of good people in it. So I'm really hoping to you know, play my role in that eventually down the line in some sort of other professional occupation. Okay. What is your motivation to be the best teacher you can be? Uh, kind of like I said earlier, my motivation to be a teacher, a good teacher, uh, really comes from that desire to see society better itself. Uh, you know, the reason crime rates are so bad is partially due to a lack of uh, you know good public education for certain young people in certain communities right and so a lot of the issue really stems from a lack of funding and really that's something you know we need to be focused on but i can only do so much in my role right now so right now i'm doing my small part as a teacher just you know kind of being good but the goal later down the line is to you know achieve some higher position, perhaps in governments, and so I can influence public policy in the educational field. What part of teaching do you not enjoy? Hmm. Uh, right, so uh, first year teaching, uh, 
just first time working for you know any public agency or group um, there are difficulties red tape a lot of rules and regulations that kind of stifle innovation and can make things frustrating or run a little bit slow uh, also of course some students you love them but they're just horrible to deal with and they cause problems they make you angry uh, they don't listen their mindsets aren't right and so that can be frustrating as well if you could change one thing from your past what would it be if I could change one thing from my past, uh, I'd like to go back to college and probably work and get a little bit of a higher GPA than I did. Uh, it wasn't bad by any stretch of the means, but you know, if I had sat down and just applied myself and focused a little bit harder, I probably could have had a perfect GPA. Uh, so that's one thing I'd like to change. When you were in college, did you think you'd become a teacher? No, not at all. Uh, the plan right out of uh, you know college was to immediately go into law school. Uh, you know, sadly, I got COVID right before my LSAT test. Uh, I was dealing with a lot of brain fog, so I wasn't operating the best when I actually took the test. My score wasn't very high, and I just did not end up uh, getting in. But you know, like I said before, the goal is to keep working on that and then at some point actually get in or just get my master's. Is there anything about being a teacher that is fun? Yeah, there's a ton of stuff, uh, right? So typically coworkers that I see daily, they're usually pretty fun. Uh, like I said earlier, uh, hanging out with the students, they can be a lot of fun, a lot of joking around. Uh, you know, not every day has to be a day where you sit down and actually give a lecture or teach a lesson and some days can just be you know, let's play a game of some sort or you know let's just all hang out and you know I'll talk to the students they'll talk to me we all get to know each other uh, you know it's just a good easy environment to work with also not bad having your summers off that's pretty nice as well are there any major flaws with the public school system yeah so uh, at least from what I can tell and from, you know, some of the research that I did in college, uh, you know, on education policy, mostly research on uh, public school education funding. Uh, like I was saying earlier, uh, there's just straight up not enough funding for public school education, uh, especially here in Texas. The way we do it is through property taxes, and that creates certain uh, inequalities uh, because certain communities you know, their property values aren't the same as uh, more affluent communities would be. So it just causes some, you know, inequalities and it's not fair to those people. Their quality of education ends up being much worse than they don't end up going to college or they don't go to the trade school. They don't, you know, work on themselves in any sort of way. So they just kind of end up you know, falling off and turning to drugs and alcohol and violence. And that's just not good for society. Uh, we really need the federal government to step up and for, you know, either reallocate resources from somewhere else in the budget or tax something else so that we can you know, kind of get those lower schools back on track. We can get this country back on track. Okay, Mr. Stapleton, thank you for your time.